Generic greetings, and welcome back to Production Line once again. In the previous episode, we went bankrupt. The uh, pop-up came up and said, Hey, uh, I notice you've gone into negative cash. Would you like to take a loan out? So, technically, I don't think it was a bailout as such, but, um, yeah, it wasn't good. Either way, we managed to power through and eventually get this Tier 1 Production Line up and running, and it's quite good because it's making us a lot of money. As you can see, we've got our, our mid-range sedan, and it is selling very, very well indeed. There is our sedan there. By the way, we will eventually, hopefully, do off-road, compact pickups, sports, and SUV. But that's a future us problem and probably on a different map as well. But anyway, this is all working. What we need to do this episode is make it more efficient. So we need to add more fans to things. We need to uh, research more technology. And that's what we'll be doing throughout this one. And maybe even researching um, maybe another line. So let's just see how it goes. Also, we're going to have a look at marketing as well because we haven't yet done it. So... In terms of research, we've just about finished the uh, Xenon headlights, which I don't think is actually going to be something we can do. Uh, although it does say there, yes, upgrade fit lights. We might as well upgrade existing slot. We'll go to next research and we'll go over to processes and we'll have a look at the, where is it, faster drying? Faster drying is the way to go, so we'll research that. We'll also do high pressure paint nozzles, but I don't think we necessarily need it. Either way, if we go over to our car model in the Sedan M, we can see that we do have Xenon headlights and we'll activate that and it's rare and then there we go. So more money. So we're still making um, we're still making the B plus and the uh, Model M. You can see it says uninstalled features, leather interior and Xenon headlights. That's because um, obviously as the car, car progresses along, um, it will get to a point where if we say if a car's about here and the say seats were here then well it's already past that line it's not just going to ditch the car it'll just put it out but it'll be a slightly altered model so the price won't be as high so that's why you don't have that uh, we've got a lot of problem with resource importers as you can see it keeps on saying insuff insufficient resources i'm guessing that those um those there those Zen those are xenon headlights i think Yes, Zen, there's Zen on lights, right, okay. So it's just taking a little while to import those. We also might, we might go ahead and have a stockpile. Or we could, if we really wanted to, have another connection over here. But I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily slowing things down a lot. Although, no, it does seem to be backing this up. It is backing the line up somewhat, I think. So we might have to alter that. Hmm... Okay, what we'll do then is we'll have a we'll have a line. If I can click on the right button there, and come along, and then up to there, and let's see if that works. It probably won't because oh, there we go. There, so there's our extra drives. We'll see upgrade all slots. I'm going to remove that, and then it will start importing from there. The problem is this has got uh, the brakes to do, it's got the dashboard, it's got other such things. So if we have it coming from here, maybe it's slightly better. Um, not really working. It's got high pressure paint nozzles. Mm, it's sort of working. We could go with a stockpile. If we had a stockpile in, say... Um, well, actually, there would might do the job. So this one, we'll say copy from slot, and it is what slot is it? It is the fit lights, isn't it? There we go. So light sensors and xenon. I'm going to probably reduce the lights to say eight sensors to four and xenon up to the twelve. Well, up to 24, actually. And then this. Um, I think we can alter it so... Oh, yeah. So, configure imports any, prefer local or local only. So, we'll say any. It doesn't matter. It'll take it anywhere. But there's only one connection anywhere. So, what's going to happen now is it's always going to have, when it can, a load of Xenon headlights, which looks like it's improved it somewhat. Yeah, I think so. So, instead of having to come all the way here... It just goes from there to there, really. It's because we fit them very fast. It might have a problem later on with these as well. But it looks like it's getting on okay. These ones are still seeing insufficient resources, but... Um, 
Uh, do, we, do we alter them? I mean, we could even connect the conveyor up along here. So, like, remove that. And then connect the conveyor up to that. Is that going to function okay? Let's upgrade all of our existing paint slots there. And I'm going to start going for administration so we can get marketing. Um, that's a bug. <laughs> I deleted that. And as you can clearly see, it's still functioning. Oh dear. Uh, and now it's coming along this way. I don't know what to say about that one other than it's a bit iffy. So, in terms of loans, um, we can accept another loan, but we don't need to. Uh, we have got our cars here that I'm going to increase the premium on it, just because, quite honestly, um, our showroom is empty all the time. And I don't mind people looking at it and going, mm -hmm, maybe I'll get this, that, or the other. Um, I've turned on leather interior on this one, on the Sedan M. But, I don't think we can fit it. Hang on. Is it in fit seats? Upgrades. What's this? Universal feature. Looks like the competition of research all technology in has become a universal feature. Now expect to see this in the car. If it's not presented, it will be negatively affected. Okay. Oh yeah. Sorry. I have not got leather interior on that set. All right, okay. So what has now become universal technology? Um, cruise control in luxury cars is now universal. It's universal. So if you're doing a, if you're making a luxury car and it does not have cruise control, tough, tough. Okay. Well, that's understandable, but we ain't going to be doing it because we don't have a luxury car. But we will do later on. Um, looks like I've over-egged the, uh, the price on that. I'm just going to reduce it by just another 5%. Oh, come down. Should be fine. Um, can you pay back the loans? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Not that I think we need to. Because I think we're doing alright. But it would be nice just to get it off our backs. We've got, we're up to 700,000 now. And it's, it's just flying up because we're doing quite well there. So choose next thing. We've got body design. Which is design studio. Which I've never used. Uh, I have tried the marketing though. So we'll try that. And we've got all the manufacturing stuff. The game has expanded a lot since I last played it. You've got additional models. When I last played it, I think you had an SUV. Well, you had the sedan, the SUV, and the compact. But now you've also got... The... You've got the off-road, you've got compact, pickup, sedan, sports, and SUV. So you've got a lot more. You've got more than double. Now we're originally there. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, so you've got six ways. So they've doubled what you can uh, have, which is quite good. Um, now you've also got the different ranges. So budget, mid-range, expensive, and luxury. And obviously the uh, the marketing... Sorry, the... Uh, that's his marketing when I'm off over that there. Oh, it's because it's, it's researching marketing. The research tree has been altered to support that. And also you've now got marketing as well. Which is expensive if I remember rightly. And you've also got the design studio, which I haven't uh, yet got. And then you've got all the additional manufacture stuff. So, yeah, a lot of stuff's been added since I last played it, which is good. So, where is the backlog? Um, fit doors is five. So like I said, the, the bottleneck's going to be... Well the, well, the slowest point, obviously, which is going to be this thing here, which is 12 seconds... Well, 12 point... Five, four seconds. So call it 13 seconds. We've got two of them. So six and a half seconds to get through that. So it's not really a big problem, is it? We can turbo dry and get down to six seconds. But I don't think... Is that the slowest point? Um, I mean, that's five and a half seconds. That's 20 seconds. Sorry, it's always minutes. I, the reason I can say it when I look at that, that says 6.12 seconds. It used to be it used to be in seconds when the game first came out. You see, uh, there's the marketing department. I'm going to go for body design just to see what that's like. Uh, and what we'll do is we will now have our marketing over here. So facilities, uh, marketing department, and we'll put it in 
Mm, there. So there's our marketing department. So a lot of people in very tight suits with very trendy office furniture and a pin board and obviously on mobile phones as well. Um, they're going to be make. They're going to have a mood board, and they're going to say, "Right, well, well, you know, what if a car is not just a car? This is not a car. This is an experience. This is driving pleasure. This is love. This is hate. This is emotion." And then apparently some reason that, that that's why you buy a pickup truck. I don't know. Um, just yeah. <laughs> I've been going to the cinema a lot, I may need to see Blade Runner 2049 over and over and over again, and um, the cinema I go to, it's always, um, you know, this is not a cinema, this is entertainment, this is this is show, this is something else, isn't it? no, it's a cinema, I know it's a cinema, because it says cinema on the front, and I'm in a cinema, uh, <laughs> don't try to sell me with all this, all this nonsense, you're not Don Draper from Mad Men, you can't, <laughs> you're not that good, anyway, where were we? So, we are going for body design, we got marketing on the go, you then have to go for print marketing as well. Um, we also, I think we do want, it would be nice to get a high output power plant. Or at least the power plant efficiency. Yeah, maybe power, power plant efficiency would be uh, the way it goes as well. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, in terms of this, it's selling alright. Uh, we're not producing enough of them though, I mean we're producing a lot of them. But not enough of them, apparently. We're getting one out the door every, well, about six seconds, so it should be all right. But apparently it ain't. Looks like there's no backlog. I'm not seeing many pop-ups in insufficient resources. Now and again, you get a little pop-up there. A little bit one there, but it's only for a second or two. So I'm not really too bothered about that. Uh, we could make the factory a little bit more efficient by getting more power plants. Uh, so we're going to go choose next, and we're going to say um, power plant efficiency. We'll research that. Then what I'll do before we get it unlocked, I will go ahead and get some more power plants. So we'll have one there, and we'll have one, two. Um, then we could even put them along one, two. And there we go. So there's our power plants. We've got more than we need, actually. Um, so, to be fair. Do you get money back from that? Yes, you get a little bit of money back from that. Um, and if we upgrade all, 75,000, and we're now going to be producing 31,000 energy. So, we're producing 10,000 more than we need. Which you did warn us that you shouldn't do. But, um, you know, that's just, you know, the developer's opinion. Uh, so, we'll go, <laughs> we'll go for... Uh, uh, what do you want to go for? Uh, turbo drying would be useful. Extra robots would be very good. Um, not priorities. I think instead we'll go for more technology. So power steering is... Ah, oh, you need power steering specialization. Um, auto steer headlights we haven't got, so we will research that. Again, get more technology and put it around here. But I think we really have to start uh, aiming a bit further ahead and going for a, a full... A full tier line so a line that has everything in it so the every car or we could go for different models so we could go for like a basic SUV which would fit very nicely around here whereas if we had if we unlock this oh actually yes this bit we're gonna forget about we're not gonna use we're not gonna utilize this bit yet um, fit headlights upgrade choose next research um, heated wing mirrors. That's a new one. Uh, an automatic windscreen wipers. We haven't got powered seats. Falling wing mirrors. Touch screen. Stop start engine. It says unlock slot at uh, fit powertrain and make powertrain. And that's fit wheels for alloy wheels. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to catch up now. Let's put an airbag in actually. I'm seeing what the other cars have. So power steering apparently is the is the way to go, but you need fit steering wheel and I I don't think I have that. Mm, where is fit steering wheel? Is it dashboard? Wouldn't be accessories. Oh, fit steering wheel is there. 
Oh no, fit steering assembly, and then that breaks down to fit steering wheel. That's why. That's why. Okay. I was wondering. I'm pretty sure my cars have steering wheels. Um, it's a fairly. I think I think it's a device you need. Actually, uh, I'm not. I'm not convinced you can uh, get away with without one. I mean, you can have something similar. You know, you can have like joysticks or something. But you, you know, you need you need some sort of control scheme. Yeah. But anyway, as I was saying, yes. Leave this here for probably the every car. We'll have a line if we unlock this, which is very, very, you know, straight across. Um, and that'll be like a basic sedan or something like that. Um, have I got... Uh, I haven't got the thing that I was going to... I researched, which is the design studio, which is apparently massive. Okay. So, I'm going to have to get rid of that marketing department. Sorry, guys. And we've got a design studio. Oh, that is fairly cool. I like that. Yeah, that's good. And that's going to do what? Ah, oh, different points. So, 4x4s. Let's upgrade that uh, dashboard there. 4x4s, compact bodies. Let's go for... I like the idea of the 4x4, actually. Start researching that. Um, and what else do we want? I'm just trying to see what else is common. Power steering is common. Okay, cruise control and power steering. It's fairly commonplace. But, uh... Not what we've got there. Automatic windscreen wipers, that's okay. So, um, need to alter the car. Sedan M. Auto steer headlights and the driver airbag. Increase the premium on it. Actually, why is that being reduced? We were getting a lot more for the Zidane M, but I'm guessing because some of these features are now... Oh, the sunroof is commonplace. That's common, yes, as well as the heater. And yeah, that's... All right, okay, now we understand. Now we understand. That's why we're not getting uh, much on it. Okay, fine. Uh, putting up the 30% will probably uh, not... We'll probably have a backlog. Let's see what people are thinking. Um, wrong body style, but identical model... No, it's selling. This set, that's fine. That's working out okay. Excellent. Okay. That's that's all right. Yeah, not too bad at all then. So we are researching now, apparently, the 4x4. AWD. All-wheel drive. Yeah, it must be. Uh, so we're going to say fit windscreen, uh, which is the automatic windscreen wipers. So we'll upgrade that slot. We will go for um, folding wing mirrors. Naturally, have to add them uh, automatic windscreen wipers in there. We're still hovering around the half a million. Uh, profit is, well, negligible, if any. Obviously, as as new cars come out, um, and the technology is becomes commonplace around different areas, then we have a lot of problems with the uh, with that. So, because you know what we might be relying on, like oh, we, we've got we've got we've got Bluetooth support. If other companies get it, then mm, that's a problem. That is a problem. Um, I've got a bit of a backlog around here, and I think maybe extra robots will... Well, def things will definitely speed things up. I believe it's a 10% boost. It is a 5% boost, but a 24% power consumption. Well, power consumption we're not too bad on. So I reckon the next research we do will have to be robots. I think so. So I'll wait until this is finished. We'll say... Ah... So yeah, fit wing mirrors, upgrade slots. We don't have that, which is a shame. I will choose extra robots, I think. Robots galore. 2,000 points to do that. And obviously that'll give us a massive, massive boost across the factory. Um, see, these ones here, you can see that the, the problem is that this paint station here, 34 seconds, and we can't upgrade it. We can't upgrade it at all because you need to break it down, which is what we've done here. Um, how's our 4x4 doing? Uh, it's nearly halfway there, so that's fine. As you can see, we're still hovering around the... We're not making a lot of profit. Obviously, the loans, once we've paid those back, then we're getting... I mean, the interest is a lot. <laughs> so, hourly interest is 4 on that one. and hourly, So, we're, we're on nearly hourly interest uh, when you combine both of these of about 5 grand. So... Yeah, that's really eating into it. But we are selling the uh, our mid-range sedan quite well. So 
So a lot of people are saying not enough features. 25% are saying on that one. And wrong body style. So people are looking at a different body style. When we get the body style, actually, the might we could just upgrade this, change this one, and have this as a uh, as a mid range four x four. There's no reason why we can't do that, actually. Yeah, there is no reason why we can't do that. I'm trying to work it out. No, there isn't. There's no reason why we have to build another line. And we can have a basic one on here as well if we really wanted to. And we'll just produce, like, one of every body style. That might be the way to go. Um, there's our robots galore. 140 grand to do it all. But I don't want to do it all. I don't want to add it on everything. I just want to add it on this line. But you know what? For 140 grand to do the full line, I'm going to do it anywhere. Um, imports, uh, even faster resource, I think is the way to go. Although, did I not want to add, I don't know if I want to do the technology, nah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, because there was no point in adding the, to get more robots onto these, but, as you've seen, nah. Oh, look at them robots. That's a lot of robots, isn't it? That is a lot of robots. That is robots galore, in fact. But that should have really increased things now. Definitely has. Right, so how is that coming along? That's almost done. Power is fine. Um, hmm. Turbo drying, I don't think we need. I think I just keep on doing technologies now. Yeah, I think we're doing alright now. Like I say, still hovering around the five-ish grand. Um, but I think once we get some... Once we get some uh, new models from the design studio, I think that'll help us out. Apparently we just got off-grid. So apparently, I've just got an off-grid achievement. Run 12 hours without importing any power. Oh, so I've now got the blue colour. Yes, I have. The aquatic blue. Excellent. Good. Um, yeah, that's fine. The problem we have at the moment is that we... Oh, we need to put folding wing mirrors on there. We haven't got... There's a couple of things we haven't got in technology, which is hindering us somewhat. And we haven't got power steering, which is classed as... Oh, it's actually classed as rare in mid-range. But uh, it would be nice to get that, but that requires another extra slot, you see. So we might go ahead and do that. Well, that we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do that down the line. We will definitely do that down the line. But, um, see, it's commonplace for... to have heaters in. But we do have heaters, I believe. I believe, I hope. I hope we have. Uh, yes, we do have heaters, yeah. So there's a couple of things that we are close to being penalised for because we don't have it, but, um... We're not there quite yet. Either way, I think we're doing quite well. Uh, next episode, what we'll do is go ahead and build, or rather implement this 4x4 and just continue on, I guess. Obviously, unlock, start unlocking more stuff and researching more extra gear. By all means, let me know what you think and blah, blah, blah. And uh, hopefully we can uh, include or rate that. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.